Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can build it. Usually in our episodes, we feature customizations that we build from the scratch. But in today's episode, we will be featuring a refurbished customization. So before we begin, there's a little backstory here. In July 2021, the firm that owns this vehicle, TV9, contacted us to initiate the original floor plan. But their whole vision was that they wanted to have someone who was based out of their hub, which is Hyderabad. And as you all know, our headquarters is based about Delhi, so they ended up opting for a firm based out of Hyderabad itself. Unfortunately, post getting their asset, they were not satisfied with the quality as well as the technical aspect of the vehicle overall, which is when they contacted us back and sent their vehicle to our headquarters for further customization and a total revamp of the overall amenities as well as certain technical elements. And in today's episode, we will be walking through those refurbishments. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. So the first change that was made was the paint job of the exterior. It is now painted in a combination of German red and white. Now it may look like that the paint job on a vehicle is a very easy task to achieve but there's a lot that goes behind it. Not just the type of the paint that you have bought but also the procedure of doing it. In this case because the procedure initially was not followed thoroughly the paint was chipping out a lot which is why we had to make the changes to the exterior paint. Apart from that, we are now on the front show. Now, during our discussion with the company, we mentioned to them to omit or to change the exterior front and rear show. Because if you can see here, these are the highlights which have been built on MDF. Unlike fiber or metal, which is what we use. MDF stands for medium density fiberboard. Although lightweight, the moment it gets in contact with water, there's a chance of it getting damaged which is why we recommended the change but here the company did not want to offer the change which is why the front as well as the rear show is what the original builder had created now moving on on this section we are on the co-driver side first of all and we have three doors as well as four sections in total so originally these compartments right here Technically speaking, it's not advisable that you have something as sensitive as your control panel in an area where the water can easily get inside. There's a chance of it getting short and the entire vehicle getting burned down. So in a moment, we'll be touching base on amenities that are visible to us. But right now we are discussing upon changes that are not visible to us. Number one being the wiring. So the original wiring was very complex and bundled up, which means it was a hazard waiting to happen. So we have changed the complete wiring setup and made it less complex as well as kept it with the advanced technology. The second thing that we have changed is the AC-DC supply. So in the original floor plan, even if you would have to turn on the light of your bathroom, you still would have to connect the vehicle with a genset or an electric outsource which is not viable if you're spending so much amount on something that you want to use on the go. So we have changed the complete setup, be the lighting or the overall amenities that we'll be discussing in a moment from AC to a 12 volt DC supply, which means now all these amenities can work through a battery. So there are two batteries in this asset, but we have also added two more 180 AH batteries now moving to this side this is where this right here is where we have our 12 volt dc power pack as well as the black water tank and in that one we have our outlet to the fresh water tank moving to the rear 
and as for the control panel the complete control panel unit has now been kept on the front in the cabin area something similar to what we have done on Leviathan the genset has now been placed on the rear exterior of the asset it is also based on a slide out setup there's another one that is on the co-driver side and in regards with the stability of this vehicle because this has a slide out deck we have provided jacks on all fours something similar to what we have created in election express or leviathan the asset that we created for ash in 2019 now moving to the co-driver side so the first section that we have is the cabin area we have not done any changes on the existing cabin area apart from adding the complete control panel from the exterior to the cabin side next up we have this door right here which is our entryway to the staff room inside which so again in the cabin area the original seating plan was different and we have only repositioned the overall seats there's a sliding window that we have the only change that was made from our end is this manual drop down bed which has sleeping accommodation of one individual now moving to the next area which is our studio space in the entryway the first thing that we have is this wardrobe that we have built for additional storage this behind me is the pcr room now we have not done any changes to the existing PCR room. The only thing that company mentioned was that the PCR room setup was a bit small and claustrophobic to work for them. So we have only increased the area. Initially, the original floor plan had a depth of approximately four feet, but here we have increased it and made it to a five and a half feet depth area. Now moving to our main room, which is the studio room. This sliding door right here ensures that you have complete privacy when shooting any kind of interviews or debates. Now, during our discussion, the team mentioned that they only wanted us to do the changes on the existing interior. So apart from the complex wiring on the inside, we also replaced the complete roof with proper insulation. And apart from that, we also had to replace the overall AC unit because it was underpowered now this has a duct ac which has one duct that channels the air in all the three sections your studio space your staff room as well as the cabin area next up we have our slide out deck now slide out or expandable deck is not something that's new to motor adventures building diaries we have created in quite a few of our assets the newest one being willow then we have Leviathan and Sliding Drone, which is an asset that we built in 2013. But in this case, we had to discard the originally built shell because of the quality of the material which was used in that, as well as the poor design that we had in there. The complete road was visible in the original slide out deck, which means it lacked insulation. And again, if you're shooting an episode in your studio on the go, you wouldn't want to hear the noise of traffic as you shoot. So as for the original wiring work, you would have to turn on the genset or connect the vehicle to an exterior electric source to function these hydraulics. But now because we have changed it from AC to 12 volt DC supply, you can now simply function these hydraulics through a battery operated mechanism as well. Next up, we have our drop down platform. So the previous owner used a dead weight of the motor on the roof as well as spool which was built for commercial grade equipments which is not recommended to be used in these special purpose vehicles because it takes a lot of space and also adds a lot of weight to the vehicle which is uncalled for these assets which are going to be used on the go. The hinges as well were what we usually use in our house. Now we have said this many times throughout our videos that something that's working fine or is sturdy for a house construction is not going to be optimal for these special purpose vehicles and we need to abide by the same as well. So during our discussion with the company, they had mentioned how the wind spool snapped twice during the first week of operation. And while removing the platform, we discovered that many of the hinges had already snapped. 
Now, this is what we mean when we say that the customization cost of customizing each and every element specifically to your requirement is on a higher end. In this case, the complete winch spool was built specifically as per the weight, body and the rate at which we want the winch to function. Now the hydraulic winch functions through battery operated mechanism, again the 12 volt DC setup. In terms of winch, it can function on three supplies, number one being the pneumatic, second being the electric and the third one being the hydraulics which is what we have used up here. The complete roof has been redone using reinforced fiber panels which is a Motorhome Adventure staple. Now we casually drop this on our channel that all the lights we have are battery operated but now you know what it means to have a battery operated light setup. Apart from that, this right here is our studio space. Now you must be thinking that like where exactly are these seats here? You must have seen that in Leviathan we had guided racks or trails on which these seats were placed up and you were permitted to move it from location A to B but the extent of it was very minimal. Whereas in this setup, this empty setup does wonders. You may be thinking where exactly these seats are and if we are supposed to manually pick up the seats and place them. Well, technically speaking, yes, you'll have to pick up the seats and place them into the position where you want the interview to happen. But because the complete flooring, this 13 by 8 feet as well as this slider deck area has a layer of 3 mm iron on the top, and the seats that you have have been customized using the electromagnets on the bottom. So the moment you place these seats on the surface and turn the electromagnet on, your seats will be glued to the surface and you're ready to do your interview on the go. Until and unless the power has been turned off, the seats won't move an inch. Moving on to our bathroom area. Now, if you are a long-term subscriber, you already know that building bathroom in these special purpose vehicles, be it a caravan, election campaign asset, etc. is in fact our USP. And a detailed video mentioning about the technology that we use both in the walls as well as the commode is going to be linked either in the description box below or up somewhere right here. In this case, we had to completely discard the original bathroom area because the walls were not proper. So we replaced it with a reinforced fiber paneling on the walls as well as the commode area which was originally used was something that we have in our household. And we keep on saying this that the material which is very sturdy in your house is not optimal to be used in a vehicle which you'll be using on the go. So that is that about the washroom area. Now we are on our final space. Here we have built this complete wardrobe for extra storage. We also have a small vanity in case the anchors or the people who are shooting want to touch up their makeup and whatnot. And this right here is a hydraulic lift. Originally it functioned through a 230 volt AC supply, but now it functions on a DC supply as well. Now this space is the one wherein we had to do the least amount of customization. We have a pneumatic hash as well as scissor hydraulics that bring you to the roof and we also have pneumatic railings. This unit was placed in the front originally but we had to bring it to the rear because when you're shooting any kind of interviews or debates it would then throw a lot of sound through the fan setup. And that does it for this episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. We hope you enjoyed this refurbished project as well. We can discuss upon many more elements, for example, how the previous builder had painted the rooftop walls without applying the red oxide epoxy, which resulted into early corrosion of the rooftop. But again, the point of this video is not to diss on the builder. As a builder, it is our responsibility and our duty to take care of the quality of the material that we provide and we Motrum Adventures pride ourselves of the quality and the build that we provide in our assets. 
which is why our rates are exorbitant and we hope that you acknowledge that. I am just the person who delivers these videos to you and walks through these conversions with you but there's a complete team, the man behind the making who puts in his creativity, the missus behind making who does the job of supervising each and every person and the complete Motorhome Adventures team. So if you enjoyed this refurbishment, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the Home Away Home on wheels. Motorhome Adventures, signing off.